This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. 74% of the American people say take away oil subsidies. The Democrats are huffing and puffing. And they look like they got momentum. If I was the Democrats, if I was the leader, I'd say, here's the deal. We're not going to do any cutting until we start with the oil subsidies. You don't like it? You want to shut down the government? You want to yell and scream? You want to talk about the debt ceiling? That's your problem, not my problem. I'm not cutting a single thing until you cut these oil subsidies. Now, will the Democrats do that? Look, we had encouraging signs yesterday as they proposed it. Okay. What do we have today? Two Democrats on the other side. Mary Landrieu from uh, Louisiana, she says that uh, <laughs> taking away the oil subsidies would be, quote, inherent unfairness. What? <laughs> what? These, uh, look, look, the subsidies are going to the most profitable companies in the world. They don't need those subsidies to encourage them to do more oil drilling. They already do as much as they possibly can. And taking away those subsidies would be inherently unfair? Who, to your donors? Mary Landrieu sickens me with that. Uh, she's not alone, though. Mark Begich from Alaska, another so-called Democrat. He says of taking away the oil subsidies is, quote, it's a gimmick, a gimmick to get the next week of activity and get some press out there, picking on, picking on one industry, because it sounds good, rates good in the polls, gets you a couple of headlines, is not what the American people want us to do here. Okay, put aside how grotesque that is, because he's protecting the oil companies, pretending to be a Democrat. But look at the lack of logic. He says, oh, they're doing this based on the polls, but that's not what the American people want. Well, <laughs> by definition, it is what the American people want. If a poll shows you and it is accurate, and there's no one disputing it, it's an NBC Wall Street Journal poll showing that 74% of the American people want you to take away the oil subsidies, then that's what the American people want, not what your donors want, Senator Begich. So why are they doing this, right? Well, they're from the you know oil-rich states of Louisiana and Alaska. So what? No, no, no. You think they care about that? No, here's what they care about. The money, Lebowski. Mary Landrieu, since uh, she was elected in 1996, has collected nearly $3 million in donations from the oil and gas industry. Huh, who could have seen that coming? Begich was just elected in 2008. And how much is he taking? He's already taken $140,000 from oil and gas. <laughs> That's their boss. Their boss called him and said, hey, you do our work for us, okay? You make sure that we keep robbing the American people of all of that money. We should be getting that money, and we're not. Because why? They bought all of the Republican senators and enough of the Democratic senators to kill any reasonable legislation. <laughs> By the way, how do, look at all the money they, they get and how little taxes they pay. You know, we told you in 2009, Exxon paid zero federal taxes. Zero, okay? They paid a lot of taxes to other countries because those countries actually hold them to account. Apparently, the other countries are a lot less corrupt than us. Countries like Saudi Arabia. And we had to, they, Exxon Mobil had to pay Saudi Arabia their taxes for the, for the oil that they get from them. But us, no, we didn't get it. But when you look, but let's be fair, and that's what Exxon always says. Hey, look over a longer stretch of time. So we did, over three periods, over three years. You know what the effective tax rate for uh, ExxonMobil was? 17.6%. It's supposed to be 35%. 17.6 is a joke. That's what middle class Americans pay. A lot of you pay a lot more than 17.6%, and ExxonMobil is the single most profitable company in the world. And by the way, you think it's actually 17.6%? No, it's not. Here's the funny math that they do to get to that number. They say, well, we're going to count the federal and state gasoline tax. Well, here's the problem with that. They don't pay that tax. Consumers directly pay that tax. So why would you count it for them? So it's a joke. They don't, they're not even paying that 17%. Here's another thing they count. The employee payroll tax. But that's not on your income. Everybody pays the payroll tax. That's not part of your income. Your income tax rate is supposed to be 35% for corporations. The whole thing is a joke, man. They won't pay their taxes. And when they don't pay, who pays? We pay. Then they raise taxes on the average American. And they want to take away your home mortgage deductions. And they want to take away all these other deductions that you actually use. So that ExxonMobil can get paid more. And who helps them? The entire Republican Party and a decent chunk of the Democratic Party 
who are bought politicians. By the way, you know how much the Republicans got from oil and gas just in 2010? How much in donations? $21.8 million. Well, $21.8 million buys you a lot of politicians, and it's a great investment. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. They've got 75,000 different titles. A book I've always meant to read but didn't have time for is Guns, Germs, and Steel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to it through Audible.com. Actually, if you're a Young Turks listener, you get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT.